from like a hundred yards away. Is that a grouse or a leaf? Sure looks like a grouse from far away when you're walking, but it's a leaf. <laughs> it's always a leaf. Hey, what is up you guys? I am super stoked about today's adventure. Obviously I got the, uh, the shotgun with me, so grouse is on the menu. But what I'm even more excited about is that it's been raining here uh, recently in the Pacific Northwest, which means mushrooms might start popping out and they might be on the menu too. So all I brought with me to eat was a tiny bit of nachos from dinner last night and uh, a couple power bars. So let's hit the road and see if we can't catch something to eat. And yes, I know the stash is in full effect. Let's go. Yes, you guys, yes. I have been out here grouse hunting for a few hours. I haven't even seen a grouse. I was getting uh, kind of worried I might not even find one. Oh, man. Beautiful grouse. Oh, you guys. What an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous grouse here. Nice red shifted. I don't know if you guys can see that. All right. Like I said, I was starting to get a little bit worried. Been out here for a while. Alright, I got that grouse all cleaned up and ready to go. Um, it's about midday here. We're going to run out of light sooner than later. So, let's hit the road. We're going to head over to one of my very favorite mushroom spots and see if we can't rustle up something else to eat to cook over the campfire tonight. Let's do it. Well, I made it in here to what is probably my second favorite mushroom spot of all time. Uh, the last few seasons, there has been a big old chicken of the woods on a stump in here. And then all around it, there's been chanterelle mushrooms, hedgehogs, and uh, winter chanterelles. It's just been a super productive spot. So let's stomp around in here for just a little bit and see what we can't come up with. Man, here's my chicken of the woods spot, but it looks, uh, it looks like I'm either super late. I mean, this looks almost like last year's. It is a toe up. Okay, well, <laughs> that's out of the question. Let's keep smashing around. There's got to be a mushroom in here somewhere. It's been raining for like a week and a half. Well, you guys, not even a random mushroom, let alone an edible one. So I got some decisions to make here. I think that what I'm gonna do is head up the road some more, 
to probably one of the most mushroomy spots I know about. If there are no mushrooms there, then all hope is lost. So yeah, let's drive just a little bit farther. I'm not giving up on my mushroom dream yet, but let's go. We'll try another spot. No giving up yet. I have made it down to what I would consider probably in my top three most mushroomiest spots that I know. Uh, down here I have seen lobster mushrooms, oyster mushrooms, chanterelles, winter chanterelles, hedgehogs, and even the elusive matsutake. Yeah, it jumped right from summer to winter. Kind of throwing these mushrooms off, I think, but let's take a look around here and see if we can't come up with something. I'm starting to get hungry. Let's go. Ah! <laughs> I can't. Look what I found. Look what I found. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's another one popping up here. What is it? Check this out, you guys. It's a little jacked up, but it is, let's see, a chanterelle. Nonetheless, uh, I do believe this is a white chanterelle. Um, yeah, totally edible. Same as a yellow chanterelle, just, uh, just white. <laughs> so, yeah, that's totally hope, you guys. Let's keep uh, stomping around in here. I'm stoked. Oh, check this out. Check this out, you guys. This is a big old fat lobster mushroom. Let's see if it's still any good. Ah, uh, nope. It's uh, pretty tore up on the inside. You want them to be like nice and white, not rotten through like that, but lobster mushrooms. Okay, okay, we're on to something here. Well, okay, I got a, a little bag here of chanterelles, which is making me quite happy. First mushrooms of the season. So I'm gonna kind of make my way back to the car. I think this will do me for dinner. If I find any more, I'll grab them. But uh, a couple weeks ago, I put out a survey and I asked you guys what you thought of introducing more uh, big game hunting to the channel. For the 84% of you, um, I do intend to introduce more big game hunting to the channel um, starting in 2023, so that'll be happening. For the 3% of you, there will be some uh, more hunting content, but don't worry, the backcountry trout fishing also isn't going anywhere. We'll still be doing plenty of that. For the 13% of you, I appreciate your honesty, and here's a joke for you. What kind of bee makes milk. I got a small bag of mushrooms and one grouse. Uh, we got about two hours of light left. I gotta find somewhere to camp and we still gotta get firewood. So it is um, shaping up to be a pretty nice day out. There's some blue sky so it should be pretty dang chilly tonight. Let's go see uh, if we can't find somewhere to camp. firewood is officially gathered. Um, I'm gonna get this fire going so I can get to cooking. Why don't you guys go check out some fishing video from this morning while I do that. There's a fish. There's a fish. Hey buddy. Oh man, don't swim under those logs. I've only been out here like five minutes, just twitching a jig. Oh man. Oh, that's a fighter. That's a fighter. Oh, that's a hefty guy. Or lady, we don't discriminate here. It's 
so what happened was, uh, but seriously, what always happens is that I'll go to mess with the camera so I can show you guys what's going on. It's not like I have a film crew or anything. I do all this by myself. So I go to mess with the camera and then I'm not paying attention to the fishing pole and off comes the fish and uh, then I'm sitting there looking like a jackass. Um, excuses, excuses, I know, I know. But anyway, uh, I got the, the fire is going here. I've got my two, I always have these two bags right here, always ready to go camping. They got random dishes, spices, a uh, little bit of food. Um, I even hung up a couple lights above the picnic table here, um, cause it'll be dark pretty soon. And then there's the grouse. So I'm going to dig through these bags, see what kind of stuff I can cook up uh, with these grouse and mushrooms. Let's cook something. I'm freaking starving as always. I think I figured out something to make. First thing we gotta do is boil up some water. So we'll boil that up. That water is almost boiling, so mushrooms are going in dry. And then I found some egg noodles. So I'm gonna add those. We'll cook up some egg noodles. Now the goal is to cook some of the moisture out of these mushrooms. Egg noodles are done, so I took those off. Now that the mushrooms are cooked down quite a bit, I'm going to add in this grouse meat. A hefty helping of olive oil. And a little bit of garlic salt. That is smelling good. Looking good too. Get that nice and browned up. Oh yeah, you guys, that's looking good. I don't know what you call it, I'm not a chef, but it's got a nice golden brown outside. Give it one more second, and then we're gonna add it to our noodles. Ooh, it's hot. And stir. Heck yeah. Oh my God, it smells so good. I don't know what you wanna call this, guys. A grouse and mushroom noodle bowl, but it looks so good. It smells so good, too. Can't wait to try this. All right, let's see if I can get a big chunk of mushroom and a big chunk of grouse. Oh, hell yeah. Mmm. Not too shabby for a thrown together dinner. Tastes like Tastes like forest floor. You know what it needs? The same thing everything needs. Frickin' hot sauce. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Get it in ya. Builds character. Literally the only thing in my food bag was like flour and egg noodles. This was pretty much my option of what I could make was this or this. A meal well earned, you guys. I don't know how I... Uh, native peoples did it this took me all day with a gun in a car <laughs> and egg noodles type of tea really spice things up if you will i try not to ask too often because i think it's cheesy and lame ah. but if you guys are into this kind of content hunting fishing camping foraging consider subscribing help a brother out and if you want to know the answer to the joke earlier, it's boobies. Boobies make milk. You know who told me that joke? The adventure wife. She thought it was pretty funny. Time to put the camera down, finish eating this, and then get that fire going again. So dark it's officially dark out uh, I am stuffed just chilling by the fire right now I got a beer cracked and I'm just gonna hang out by the fire and enjoy myself I'll catch you guys in the morning cheers
you guys it's about 6 a.m. right now uh, still super dark out I've already hit the road I fell asleep super early last night it was like 8 30 or 9 uh, so up and at them uh, it's dark as heck here in the Pacific Northwest during the winter so it's there's nothing much to do after you stare at the campfire for a few hours so anyway I'm gonna hit the road head home uh, the best part about camping is cleaning up all this gear so I'm gonna go do that and I will catch you guys on the next adventure